Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If, if you are paying any attention to news in the U.S., you are aware that the Democratic National Convention is going on in Charlotte. And, of course, let's say, uh, Michelle Obama brings down the House, and Obama, slated for a larger stadium, moves it to a smaller stadium for the safety of all. Was that due to bad weather? Okay, well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they just said that the Democrats have embraced the fact that they are the party of tax and spend, and the Republicans are the party of, um, of, of little government. And they said that, uh, was it Michelle Obama? No, that's Michelle Obama credited the government for being responsible for everything that she is and her husband is, and that the government is responsible for everything that you do in your life, and that the government workers are the ones that need to be helped in this nation because private sector workers, of whom she can't get elected, he cannot get elected without the private sector workers, are doing all right. The president was, was not misquoted. He was basically telling the truth, and the Republicans took it and put it out of context. Ooh. That the public sector workers are being screwed by the Republicans because they won't give them the money they need to keep them on the job. Well, I think it's a democratic, one democratic state after, after another, after another, after another is busting the unions because they can't afford the benefits packages that they gave them when they, when the people that were living in the state that are no longer there. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example of the taxation. My family is living in England. They've had no bit, they basically, they run a, a, a service where people come to their place and they hold weddings. There hasn't been a wedding held there in six months. And, if, and the government, because the government didn't raise as much tax money as they thought they were going to raise on the wealthy, it came in so low that they're going to raise taxes on everybody to make up for what they didn't get before. So my family is having taxes raised on what they didn't make. <laughs> And they didn't make any money, but well, they're going to have to pay it for it anyway because, well, you're going to have to pay a wealth tax, which means you own property. You're going to have to pay a special one-time only tax. To help. Ooh. Yeah, well, they're really, there's nobody, in, it's not going over well in England. You mean, I am not making any money. I am on social, on whatever their social system is. But because I own the house that I was living in before I lost my job, I have to pay a special tax to stay living in the house that, that I can't pay for because of the fact I don't have a job and I'm living on government subsistence. Mm -hmm. And they said, yes. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, of course it makes sense. And former Ohio Governor Romney lacks economic patriotism. Oh, God, this is what in the world is that? Well, if you don't want to, if you don't want to pay taxes to help the country, you're not a patriot. Well, I simply put it on Facebook before I got rid of some of the a holes that are on the left. Here's one for Facebook post. I was subscribed to a half a dozen Democratic Party sites yesterday without my permission. And they got all this dribble about the stuff, but um, the bit is now that I, I just simply put up on one of them when, I, when they sent me the thing that you're not a pay. They call me you're not a patriot because you refuse to pay your fair share of taxes because you're wealthy. Not that I know of. I know my house got burned down. I live in a I live in an apartment now, and I'm like ancient. But you're not paying your fair share of taxes. There's people like you. In the Republican Party, well, I have to continually tell people I'm on the DNC press list, not the RNC, and I'm not a registered Republican. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, so I simply point back. I think what they also said was specifically, if you're not paying taxes, you're not patriotic. Which means they said they specifically singled out the 49 percent of the people that pay no taxes in this nation as not being patriots. Mm -hmm. They're correcting that this morning, of course, though. Of course. It was a miss. They were taken out of context. By, uh, by Bob Schieffer, Chris Matthews, all of these people who see blood in the water. This, it is so bad. There is one folks for you. They're holding a convention because they, uh, they, they picked a small arena because they couldn't get enough people to come to the one they originally wanted. So they went to a small arena. The sound system is too big for the arena. Oh, no. And guess what? Guess, uh, guess the only news organization that has a soundproof booth with them? Who? Fox. So oh. Fox is the only place that can conduct interviews because the sound system drowns out all of the open 
faces of everybody else, I would listen to Paul Don Brokaw. What? Uh, I can't hear what you're saying. Oh my God! And they bring Brokaw in, and I mean, this is this is all the reporters. And oh up in Fox, God. up in Fox. So wait a minute, are they doing that all week there? Yeah, the whole the whole thing, oh the sound God. system, was designed for the bigger arena they were supposed to be in. And they basically never bothered to check the acoustics with the new sound system. And even after they turned it down, you go, what? Oh, no. It's a disaster. And it reverberates horribly, too, because, because you can't go anywhere without being close to a microphone when a, when a reporter yeah. goes, whoa. So, yeah. Mm. Democrats embracing what caused the original Bush landslide. We love to raise taxes and spend others' money. They actually said that. Raising taxes and spending money of the wealthy is what makes this country great. Uh, you actually what? had a guy on the floor last night saying that. I mean, it is, they said it is the, uh, I'm looking at, uh, it is like, you know, they're talking, you know, uh, George Bush isn't president. Uh, George Bush isn't president. Uh -huh. uh, George Bush is George Bush and the Republicans. Uh, <laughs> you want to know why? For 23 million people that have jobs have food stamps because George Bush refused to allow uh, allow wage increases for these working people. Uh, as they pointed out, George Bush isn't president. That's right. But they don't seem to. I, I, I know the, the sad part about it is, I don't think. Here's another one from one of the Democrats. I love this Democratic comedian last night. He said that if, if the Hurricane Isaac had it hit Charlotte and hit that arena, the Democratic Party would have become moderate. Because every liberal in the country is sitting there except George Clooney. <laughs> He's in Toronto causing a problem again. So. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh, at the film festival. Yeah. And man fakes own death, then proposes. I don't know how he thought he was going to. Okay, it's just well, like... What was that about? Oh, I don't know. It's the same thing as I was watching. You can't... You go out in the public, you get caught. Like, I was watching... Yeah, somebody up there likes me, which I actually had a role in. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, the, the actor is basically Paul Newman. He goes and fight. He basically... AWL from the military and is holding a fight in front of the military and figured he wasn't going to get noticed. Yeah. Yeah. That not. That was, uh, uh, mass murderer Charles Manson releases album. Well, yeah, because I mean the Democrats are in charge, folks. I mean I'm assuming that he's going to go on tour soon with his album. I mean, they're they're basically deciding that Republican governments are 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 restricting the rights of all of these prisoners. They're basically everywhere where they're getting all these rights are de I know they're, they're they're ran by Democrats. They're not ran by Republicans, but they're using they restricted their rights. So the courts are giving them all kinds of things like recording albums, going on tour with your music. Oh my! Which means they're out. <laughs> yeah, which they're not supposed to be. They're forbidden from being out, but now they're going to go on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, and and of course the funds that they raise go to help pay for them in jail. No, it goes into their pockets because yeah. they no longer can seize those assets because uh, uh, what's his name? The welfare system has now been changed and basically it, it goes over to the jail, the jails too. So if you slaughter a whole family, you write a best-selling book, if you make a, they make a movie that makes a billion dollars off of it. You get the you get the profits now because of the Obama administration. Oh. And Democrats brag about killing Osama bin Laden and saving GM, but they neglect to mention all the money still owed by GM and how many people lost everything that would have not happened if it had been left alone. Oh yeah, the, the Democrats do not mention the fact that they uh, they bank, they folded the company, crushed all of the bondholders, and then uh, fired like 200,000 union workers, canceled. But it, it basically, if you tend to have Republican leanings, you got to actually got rid of all the Republican-owned businesses. And then they're, they, you know, what they're recycling this fifty billion dollars is never going to get paid back, and the stock that they sold is now running under the original. Okay, the stock price of GM when it folded is, is higher than the price of the stock for GM right now because nobody's buying cars no matter what they're saying. The government's buying things, but that's all. And Toyota is sponsoring Whack a Hipster Game at Bumper Shoot. I, that one I can't make. I, 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 what, I, what in the world it's got to be about? something that I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm old. I don't know what's going on in a lot of things. But that sounds strange, doesn't it? 
And I put it in because I don't know what it is. And it's Isaac's aftermath, still thousands in the dark. Yeah. The biggest person in the dark is the President of the United States who doesn't realize the press. They, they, they actually, they did, trade papers this morning put out, the President of the United States is losing his, his friends in the press with one gaffe after another. And a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. It doesn't make any difference, right or left, if they see blood of your candidate in the water, press goes for it. They don't care what party you represent.